Hey, what's going on everybody? Miguel Quiles here. This is Photographers Playing Video Games, or Gaming with Photographers, GWP. I like the sound of that, right? GWP. GWP. I like it. Gaming with Photographers. So, I'm here today with uh, a collective crew. Yes, you like sir. That? You like that? Collective crew? Collective group, yeah. Yeah, I like that. You know, people from the Alpha Collective. Why don't you guys all introduce yourself? The, the, the queen of the Alpha Collective, right? <laughs> the queen of the Alpha Collective. You guys, everybody introduce yourselves. Um, Quehu or Rob Q on the gram. On the grams. Adam King at Kingy Kings on the gram. Uh -huh. Manny Ortiz <laughs> on YouTube. Diana Ortiz. The real star of the show. I'm Miggy Mig, right? Is that how Miggy yeah, Mig? Miggy Mig? Like, Miggy Mig, Mig on, the, on the grant, no. <laughs> At Miguel Quiles Jr. So <laughs> we're, uh, we're here in Las Vegas for WPPI, and uh, you know, I, I grew up playing video games, and I would always have my friends come over, and I don't know if you guys were like me that used to play video games as kids, but like, my friends would come over like this, and we would just chill at my house, and we'd talk about girls in school, and like, Teachers and like all kinds of stuff, and then you teachers. get your own. Ooh. Yeah, you know, oh, just, and teachers. I'm just saying, like you know, <laughs> life, life things, right? And guys that you got mad at, and you're gonna fight them after school and whatever else. And so, um, so I thought it would be kind of cool to get some photographers together and sit down and talk about photography, business, and life while playing video games. So we got a Super Nintendo Classic. We're playing Street Fighter. That's the game of the day today. Uh, the game that everybody here is about to get crushed at. <laughs> All right, but uh, we'll see how it is because we got some really competitive people. But uh, oh, yeah. So yeah, Manny and I are going to get this thing started. And um, so while we're playing here, let's go ahead and let's select our characters. Um, so Manny, uh, what got you into photography? Well, I played it off as I wanted to take pictures of my wife. Mm -hmm. But I, honestly, I just wanted a new hobby. Oh, okay. Well, thank That's all it was. Yeah. <laughs> so you say you're boring. Oh, yeah. Wow. No, oh, but you know what? Cow. She, she knows you know you she, gotta go home with her yeah, after yeah, this, she right? She realizes that. They, they, they can't protect you. You know, I had to, I had to justify the purchase. Of okay, the okay, all right. You know? Oh, yeah, you know, I want to take pictures of my Yeah, I'm trying to take pictures like of you, that. baby. You're beautiful. You know, you know? Yeah, you know, and then I justify the purchase. Everyone does. Everyone Absolutely. Does. No, so I already knew. I already knew. She's Latina. You, I yeah. told you. There you go. I told you about these Latin yeah. women, boy. You can't yeah. play around. I nope. should stab you right now on video. No, I won't. Yes, you will. That. Yes, you will. I, I just... told you. She said that she wouldn't do it, but then she's like, she's like, oh, you guys should play real street fighting. And I'm like, <laughs> well, what is that? Yeah, she's like, you guys should fight. Like, like for real real. fight. And I'm like, yo, <laughs> what? His, his start. I know it's been a while, you know. Here comes a flying chicken. Where's the sound at? There's no sound. Oh, no, just stay back the for a second. Is... Hold on, hold on. Stay back what, for a second. What do you mean stay oh, back? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stay back. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, as soon as you hit okay. start, you got to go, man. That's right. We're on a timer here. Yeah, so anyway, so that's how you got started, right? Yeah, he pretended like he wanted to um, take photography milestones of me being pregnant. That's what he tells oh. everyone. I'm like, you're so full of crap. That was not it at all. <laughs> <laughs> He's that like, makes... but it sounds better. Oh, you can't that. do that. Look at that. <laughs> what the hell was that? Dude, you can do anything oh. the game allows you, allows you to. I thought that if everybody you know, was talking all this trash coming up here. I was like, listen, I don't want to say nothing because I'm kind of well, nasty. You're good at Street Fighter. Fighter. You, that's the problem. Well, I know, that's what it have, is. But you kind of have an advantage because you've, you've been playing it on this system for a while now. No, right? I just got this. Right. But how? Oh, 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 look, I didn't know look. Oh, you lost. What? Get it. How did that happen? Just like that. Dude, what the fuck what, 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 I don't know. You, we, what happened is you got your ass whooped. <laughs> <laughs> well, how did he punch it and he threw the controller down? Because I'm nasty like that. That's what it is. <laughs> so, this is <laughs> so that's 1-0. We're going to do this elimination style. This is elimination chamber right now. We're going to see how we're going to do this. So, um, so you were you originally got into it. You wanted to uh, take pictures of your wife. It's understandable. No, that's a lie from hell. <laughs> you wanted a new toy. I, honestly, I wanted I wanted a new hobby, right? Okay. All I right. wanted a new hobby, and it just it I, it kicked off from there. So what, gotcha. what, what what hobbies were you doing before? Working out. I was pretty buff back in the day. Oh yeah. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> 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 what happened all the muscles, you know, kids though? happen. No, yeah, that's you know what's so funny is that we talk about this all the time. Yeah. I had You're the baby. Me got I got muscles? pregnant. I got pregnant. I had the baby, and he stopped working out wow. because we had also, a baby. Because I'm so, such so a good support can, system. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so he didn't get it happened. Wait, it happened. Yeah. Awesome. Yes, I heard and now about I'm this. in the gym all the time. Right. 
And, and he's just I'm at home work, yeah, playing video. Working, working on my, hard. working on my. Oh, that's okay. Hard. That's Trusting understandable. Me. It's all good. All right. Yeah. So, I so. I keep playing with the same guy because I like him. That's the guy he always... wants to get what with the same guy is what it is. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, you, uh, what was the first camera that you got when you wanted to start uh, your your passion of photography, this uh, hobby? What? Uh, see, now he's not talking because he wants to win. <laughs> I, I, it ain't gonna work. You can't do two things at once. It ain't gonna work. Uh, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna oh. Like, what? He never wanted to come up here to talk. He wanted to come up here. He, to he wants to win. He's cheating right now because I'm trying to narrate this thing. It's okay. Look at that. It's okay. I got you. Here comes the comeback of the century. Ooh. Oh. 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 What a nasty one. Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 All right. There we go. Sorry, guys. Oh. I had to make a comeback. One hit. That's all you need. One I had to make a comeback right there, you know, because he didn't want to talk to you guys. Well, See, this is what happens. You guys don't realize this, but photographers were like super competitive, right? At everything. So. I think that's like a secret of like what you need to like win at photography and business. You got to be like real competitive. Well, you got to have some type of passion and drive, right? Yeah, absolutely. So of course. Competitive with yourself, I would say. Yeah. yeah. I, I definitely played into the role of uh, when I first started, you know, being a little bit too competitive with other people. <clears throat> Yeah, it's, you know, it's, um, I, I agree with you. Like, I had the same thing. I would look at other people and I'm like, oh, I want to yeah. do that. I want to be better than that. Yeah. But um, you it's not about that. that. Yeah. Like, I don't know if you're, I lost it. Because I was like, He's, why am I doing, like, why am I in competition with these people? I should be helping and they should be helping. We should all help each other. Yeah. Instead of like, oh, I'm going to, you know, <laughs> this, or this portrait or whatever. Here, bro. Yeah, it's like, it's like the whole, uh, I mean, I, I don't want to overuse it, but it's like Walk the, the <laughs> 2 the whole community over competition thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, like when everybody... you first start, I think it's just natural with anything. Yeah. For most people. For oh, some. I mean, but I, I think in the beginning, it almost comes from like a selfish place. Because like, yeah, you want to be helpful, but you kind of want to learn. <laughs> you know, yeah. like you kind of want to learn for yourself. So like, I'm going I'm to get you a guile. So yeah, we're going to do this. So Q, who's stepping up to uh, get whooped next. Yes, sir. Um, <laughs> so we started Sony Portraits together, yep. uh, uh, what was that, a few months ago? Almost a year? No, it hasn't been no, a year No, not yet. a year, not even, probably like six months ago. Yeah, and, and you know, we were, we were looking at it like, hey, you know, he runs Sony Images, which is a really awesome um, Instagram page that uh, features Sony shooters. And, um, you know, there was this like, Issue, oh, I can't talk, it. no! This is, no, 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 don't you try to do that <laughs> garbage, get that out of here. Too good. Is this Vegas? No! Oh, oh no! Yeah! No! <laughs> Damn. So uh, we saw Dropping. this like need in the, um, kind of like in the Sony and the Instagram space to like feature portrait shooters. Like we both have that same passion. And so, um, you know, we started this, uh, Hold on, I gotta, I gotta focus on this for a sec. I got a big comeback to make. Watch how I do this. Hold up, we're gonna get this perfect real quick. So why'd you guys start it? No, no. We were trying to do what Manny was doing. We were trying to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were trying to. Keep talking, keep talking. We were trying to. No. <laughs> well, here we go. Q, Q. Oh my God. Hold up. Yes. Okay. Come back. So we were trying to uh, just bring more awareness and more attention to uh, to, to people who are using Sony cameras and shooting portraits. Right. You know, I felt like uh, Sony Alpha at the time, like it's a fantastic page, and uh, but they weren't featuring that many portraits and we felt like portrait shooters needed some love. And so, uh, oh, he's so lucky. I'm glad you guys that. did that, you know, coming from a portrait photographer. <laughs> yep, that's, that's the goal. I mean, you know, Sony Alpha still, I mean, they have time. They, they might feature some of that stuff <sighs> in the future. Victory again. Um, but, you know, we, we thought it would be a good thing to, like, uh, feature yeah. photographers' work. And so yeah. it's been good. There's actually a lot of Sony portrait photographers um, yeah. that really good never ones. got the love that they, they deserve. So yep. uh, this is a great outlet for them. What do you mean by that, though? Like, like they don't get the recognition that they deserve, mm -hmm. right? Correct. Like, yep. Or just not the features? Via specifically uh, Sony shoes, right? Via features, I mean, there's a lot I mean, of other like, hubs that of underrated. Like, if you put out like viral potential content, strap on 85, drop it 1418, whatever, get that bokeh look, banger every time, 
popular, How trendy. Do you grab it so quick? Everyone's gonna like it. Ice pop, beautiful. Yeah. You know, just yeah. Just an easy shop. All day. You could do that all day long, post like that for weeks, and you'll grow tremendously. And then obviously you have to network. Meet the people behind so, so many images. Right. right behind you have to talk to you guys to be like, hey, you know, network a little bit, get to know you guys, yep. you know, comment, engage with your work, and then you'll be on or they'll be on your radar when it comes time to actually feature them. Like, oh, I left a comment on his page and he featured me a couple weeks later. Probably because you commented. Exactly, because so you showed up on their radar. Like they yeah. might have not known who you were, right. and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, who's this person that keeps commenting on my stuff? Exactly. You're gonna check them out and be like, oh, they shoot Sony. Oh, they shoot portraits. That fits perfect criteria. I'm gonna feature them. Ah, it's social network. Just, no, it's about networking. This is really close. Nail biter. Nail biter. Next hit. Oh, oh, I oh, oh, oh. Like, oh. oh double, double kill. What? Oh my gosh. I've never seen that in my life. Well, there it is. <laughs> Ever. Double KO. All right. So that, that one MMA fight. Yeah, yeah. There was. Uh, Fedor and Mitrion almost ended like that. Oh, this guy. I hate Zangief against Ken. This is the worst. Stipe and DC? Who do you got? Come on, can you do it for the collective? Uh, I would say DC. <laughs> I got Stipe. What? Such a... Dude, Cormier was he's DC is a beast. He hasn't yeah, lost he at uh he, he hasn't but lost so at heavyweight. Did, but everyone just he's not flashy, so Man, No, he's, he's not. A, he's a monster. Dude. So Miguel, what so about durable. you into photography? You know, so I it was funny. I grew up playing video games like crazy, and that's why I'm whooping everybody in this room right now. Oh um, mother. So what happened was uh I I started working at this camera store. Oh, and great. uh <laughs> The only way you can really sell cameras to photographers is if you, you shoot, if you know Should about like what is aperture oh, and, oh. and like talking about aperture and, and f-stops and everything else. Like you got to know the lingo to sell to photographers, right? And so I bought a camera and back then I was into cars and video games. So I would go to car shows and photograph models and photograph, you know, models on cars and whatever else. And so, uh, you know, I was just trying to sell cameras, you know, and I... Eventually develop a passion and kind of played around with it for years. And then in 2012, I was working for the man, uh, working a corporate job, and uh, I was into playing Magic the Gathering. I actually remember this, and most people don't know this because I've never told the story, but I used to play competitively. I would go to like competitions and play Magic the Gathering and beast on little kids. Um, <laughs> you're proud of me. You're proud of me. Yeah, I was. I was. I was. Yeah, I would, yeah. I would kind of whoop on these guys. No, but there was a dull side playing too. Yeah, it was a W. Exactly. Oh Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. So I would, I would spend like thousands of dollars to buy like the best cards. I can just picture you know? punching an eight-year-old. Oh, I'm like, why aren't you blocking? You know. So like, I would go to these uh, to these tournaments and and I would play and I spent thousands of dollars buying the cards and finally I was like, man, you know, spending all this money and like. You know, the cards are worth money, but at the same time, you're not generating income. And so I was like, what if I got into photography? So I sold all of my Magic the Gathering cards and I bought my first camera, which was uh, Canon T3i at the so time. So it would have Canon T3. T3, yeah. yeah right on the Yeah. Yeah. I, I, you know, it was it was great starting out and... Do uh, you uh, ever get any inspiration from, like, video games? I don't know. I, oh, all the time. Like, color grading or just Absolutely. ideas or concepts? All the time. Like, I, a matter of fact, one of my Ooh. earliest photo yeah. shoots... It was from anime. I did a, a photo shoot with a coworker who loved Dragon Ball Z, and we did like a Goku inspired. Um, was it Jeff? No, 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 no. It wasn't Jeff. Yeah. It should have been though. It should have been. Would you have like the model with the gi or something? No, he he basically did some stuff without a shirt, and he had like a, a spiky hair, like Saiyan hair. That's dope. And uh, and then I did some Photoshop stuff, which I didn't even know how to use Photoshop. But we did like the the Kamehameha, like the energy ball. Mm -hmm. I just found like a lens flare and I was like, oh, that kind of looks like it, you know? And um, yeah, and then just started shooting from there and it was just for fun. But I spent a year trying to figure things out, you know, like mm -hmm. what did I want to shoot? I did maternity, I did family portraits. You got outside doing out there, right? Yeah, like I shot a few weddings. I was so for maternity, to... did you shoot yourself? No. <laughs> <laughs> you shot your mother, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, <laughs> no, but uh, 
but uh, <laughs> but I I like. Yeah, you can. <laughs> yeah. That was like my default answer mom. when I was like in high school. Shut your mom. It was always your mother. <laughs> your mom likes it. Yeah. <laughs> that's what your mom said. Yeah, that's like the ultimate comeback of the century. It's always your mother. So, but both you, yeah. you start with T three. Yeah, you start T three. Yeah. I start with a T three. T three. He was a little bit more broke. I yeah, 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 that dude. Definitely. I started with a D sixty. Yeah, I like on D sixty. Damn, the only cow. one with the Sony Sony A six thousand. Wow, wow dude, you were original. Dude, like. that's a so, film camera. Wow. So, so the D sixty came out in two thousand eight. I think is, is around the time it came out. And, right. And this is when like D the Nikon D ninety was was like their crop sensor flagship at that time when it was released. Right. And like everybody was trying to get on that D ninety tip. And then, um, yeah, started slowly switching over. That switched over to actually the Canon T three I. Right. And then finally, I went over to Sony. So oh, here's the no, question of the in, day. In so like, we all had different systems that we started, right? So I'll start with you. What was your first like? Obviously, you had the kit lens probably when you bought the system or bought your first camera. What was your first lens that you bought? First lens uh, was this seventeen to forty on the Canon. The F4 okay. 17 to 40. That was because it was like a budget lens, but it was super wide too. So right. essentially, you could shoot everything. I took it as a, as a travel lens. Um, it was it's an L series lens, mm. but it's still fairly sharp. Right. He was destined to be a landscape photographer. He was. <laughs> when, 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 when all you have is a wide lens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, exactly. Like, destined. Try shooting portraits. No, I mean, I had, the, bad, so. I had the, the nifty 50, 51.8. Okay. Well. I think, I think yeah, everybody, everybody had that. My first lens, hilarious how it, like, it even happened. Um, let me so, guess it's like some high end lens. No, 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 no. <laughs> just like, yeah, you know, I have like I got it L for series. Birthday. Yeah, oh, no, no, no. 7200, 28. You know. Power of the internet. Um, so I was doing landscapes for quite a while, just kit lens, YOLO. Um, <laughs> no, and then one day, so I just keep posting landscapes, and then one day some guy left a comment on my thing. Right. On my, one of my posts, and, uh, you know, he's it's, like, it's your mom. Actually, it's my fault, so it's your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my Damn. laundry? Damn, that's messed up. <laughs> All right, so, uh, All right, so <laughs> long story short is a guy left a comment, where you at? And I was just trolling him. I'm like, I'm in the club, bottle full of bub. Literally, oh, what I no. said. Literally what I said. What? And he's like, yo, I'm trying to work. And so I was like, all right, DM me. So this random guy, he claimed to be a ghostwriter for like Drake and Eminem and all that stuff. Really? And he's like, yeah, I'm doing a, a mansion power shoot in Phoenix. He's like, I want you there. I'm like, dude, I don't even shoot portraits. What yeah. do you mean? He's like, I don't care. And I was like, all right, I guess I'll figure it out. So he paid me, you know. He was not, legit? Yeah, it was legit. So I flew out to Phoenix. I bought a 50, uh, 1.8. Okay. Never yeah. shot portraits, really. There you go. Yep. Threw that thing on, went, it was the grossest thing I've ever went to. The models were just <gasps> horrendous. Like, he found them on like Craigslist or something. Ooh, wow. Boom. But anyway, I learned I learned a lot then, and that's kind of what started me switching from landscape to portraits. So I'm like, wait, like this could have been good if I knew a little bit more, and if I could put like some more emotion or something, or storytelling yeah. into it, then it could be. So then from that point on, I was like, all right, I don't have any other travels coming up. I'm gonna be stuck in Pittsburgh for a little bit. Let me shoot with some models. Yeah, Fifty-one fours, just grinding out content, nonstop, Dang. just boom, boom, boom. So, so am I the only one that went from portraiture and family to more landscape stuff, or did you just start landscape then go to portraiture? How that go yeah. around? It usually starts landscape. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you, you don't. It's don't, easy. You really don't I mean, want to. It's not easy, but it's like many, many started by yeah, photographing everything in the house. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, he's, he's photographing like the flowers. Yeah, using lights and stuff like that, and then I'll go photograph like the street, you know, doing long, long exposure, you know, right. playing around. Because I'm not gonna work with people if I don't have. I'm, I'm never gonna. Oh, are you gonna retire? Or, yeah, I'm gonna retire. Oh. You can't be me. Until somebody's ready to step yeah, up no to the champ. Right. Right, let's go. I'm not ready yet. So, so, what, so what were we saying? Just land, you know, landscapes. You yeah. Because working with people is a whole different story, especially if you're an introvert like me. Hey, you know, I had the same exact battle. Like, I, I think. Um, you know, it's kind of funny, like, I'll post images and people are like, oh, you know, it's just because you got this beautiful model, and you got this and that, you got that camera. It's like, it's never on you. Get it, People boy. don't realize, dang, wow, I thought you... What? I can't figure out the controllers. Which one's the power punching kit? Excuses, excuses, excuses. Mm, real cute. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> so, you know, I had the same thing. Like, people think it's like, they, they will never give you credit no. as a portrait shooter. It's never that you did a good job, you styled it right, you know, you lit it right, whatever. It's like, oh, well, it's the way it was retouched, or it was yeah. the model, the makeup artist. You get that sometimes that. on YouTube. Yep. Yeah. It's all the time, but like, you know. With so, landscapes, I think you get a little more credit because you got to go find the location and. So, but what if it's the same That's location? True. Like, it's it's hard to really mess up. Like maybe shots of like oh. Cinque Terre in Italy. Like, you know, what about places like that where they're just all exotic? Is, do you think it's it's uh, beneficial for a landscape photographer to go to those destinations versus I mean, like all these beautiful locations? You know, right. I I would say if they're good, if they've grinded it out with like making regular places look interesting, then yeah, go for it. But. Um, you know, there's a lot of people, again, it's, a, it's similar to how it is with portraits where it's not you, it's the location. You, if you're able as a landscape photographer to take a sweet landscape in a place that's not that interesting, that maybe you and I would walk right past, like that's, that's awesome. And then yeah, if you go somewhere really fancy, you probably will get a better shot because you got the eye for it. Right. You know, but there's a lot of people who are like, oh man, I wish I could take landscapes, but I don't have the money to go to New Zealand. It's like, dude, you, you got beautiful, awesome places nearby. Make you know? something out of nothing. Right. Like, do something in your own town before you try to, you know, go somewhere else. And then it holds people back because they're like, no, I can't afford to go there, so I'm just going to leave my camera, you know? I think it's good to shoot everything, honestly. Like, I don't know, for the longest time, I got stuck in the portrait thing, but I do like shooting landscapes, and I'll shoot that stuff, but I'm not, like, feeling motivated to share it. And right. Recently, I was just like, I'm cutting that out. I'm gonna just post whatever I want. Right. And I think it makes you a little bit sharper and look at like lifestyle and portraits a little bit different once you start saying, you know what, okay, I'm not just gonna shoot a person. I'm gonna go out today and I'm gonna shoot everything but a portrait. Right. It makes you better, I think. No, but you know what's funny? Cause I, like, I see your work on Instagram and even though you're shooting different things, you see like a common thread you know, there's a lot of storytelling, there's a lot of emotion yeah. in the in the work. It's not just somebody staring at a camera smiling. You know, yeah. it's not the, like, what I would call vanilla portraits. You yeah, know, thanks, man. No, it's something I, a I'm very hard on myself about portrait. that, too. Like, yeah, something. vanilla is just like, you know, it's like somebody looking at the camera smiling. Like, yeah. it's like a vanilla portrait, you mm -hmm. know? It's like what you do, like, uh, you know, when you hand your your your... Your mom, the camera at a party, you'll take this picture. And they're like, okay, yeah. one, two, three, cheese. Mm -hmm. That's a vanilla portrait for me. There's a you lot know? of vanilla ices out there, huh? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. All right, what the hell's going on? I'm getting whooped right now is what's happening. But, you know, it's, um, I totally agree. I mean, I think that, uh, you know, the thing that is probably prevalent or prevalent uh, amongst all of us here is that, like, we shot a lot of stuff and we shot often. You know, yeah. consistency is huge. Yeah. Hey, yeah. let's talk about something else. Yeah, let's do it. See, when the Latina talk says we're talking about something else, <laughs> we're talking about something else. I mean, you might as well just let's, let's, moderate. It's, let's it's, talk yeah. about. Let's, let's, moderate. Done, let's, let's talk done. about how much you guys appreciate your wife's support. Oh wow. Oh. Ooh, yeah. let's Manny, talk about let's, that. Let's, let's start with Manny. No, let's start with you because I'm You're here. Me. You oh, already okay. know. All right. Let's start with you. No, What's you know, it's it's massively important. You know, I think... Uh, what, support? Uh, spousal uh, support. Spousal okay. support. You know, it's it's everything. I mean, and, and I'll be honest, so it's, it's a two-edged sword, right? Because you, it's good if you have it, but you can't expect just because they're your spouse that they're going to support you. My wife has been very supportive. Like, she's been super supportive. She's put up with a lot of nonsense. You know, there was a lot of times yes, where... Know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, because you're in it, you know? It's like there's been uh, uh, many years where I'm like, you know, this is the goal. This is where we're trying to get to. And I know you don't see it right now, but it's going to take time. You have to trust in me. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of stress and drama around that. But if you work really hard, you know, hopefully you get to that point where you're like, see, I told you. This is what I've been trying to do all this well, time. Well, it's a lot of trust, isn't it? It is. Yeah. And being secure yourself. Because I did. It's not even a lot of, it's not about trust, though. It's also about when you have, do you have kids? Uh, so I I do now. Okay. I have a, a one month old. Congrats. It's, oh, oh, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Fresh. Yep. It's, fresh. It's, 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 well, fresh. It's not, <laughs> yeah. It's oh, not yeah. just it's not just about that. It's also like there's a lot that comes with being a photographer and it takes a lot of time. And it it's does. not just going and photographing someone and then coming home and then chilling yeah. out. You know, people mm -hmm. don't understand that when they're asking for quotes either. That yeah. it's not just oh I'm taking your only we only need like ten pictures. It's like no, that's yeah, not how right. it works. 
my husband's about to sit here and yep. edit all these photos and ignore me for the next exactly. few hours. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. And, like, and tell me not right now for like the next few hours. But you have you to know? be okay with so that because it's like of, you're going yeah. towards that goal, you know? Yeah. It's like maybe he might be the type that he likes to spend a lot of time doing that. I I'm not like that. Like I used to love to spend time editing and doing all of that. And yeah. I got to the point where I was like, you know what? I do some editing, I outsource some others because I appreciate my time with yeah. my family and with you know my wife and now with my son and um, you know so so for me I mean the spousal support is very important but if you don't have it you have to earn it you know and you you got to be willing to like fight for that and and, and just be willing to earn it you know yeah. and I think in the beginning I could say she might say differently but I, I don't know that she I don't know that she saw the vision that I had yeah. you know what I mean and no and you know what I'm not even gonna lie I didn't either. Yeah. I didn't either, and it was very frustrating. And then he got frustrated with me because he's like, you need to take this more seriously. And I'm like, no, you need to take yeah. this more you seriously. You need to go get a job. <laughs> no, he had a job. He had a job. He no, always good, had good. it. But it was more so like, you need to take family more seriously. Right, right. One of the yes, hardest you know? things, uh, one yeah. of the hardest things in my journey was, just was remember, finding... Just remember, I'm right here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 you better just <laughs> stand and I'll trust me, I know. I just I yeah. felt that arm. I, I know. I, I, I know. I know. Yeah. The, one of the hardest things was finding that balance, right. family and yes. photography, because photography can consume your mind. Yeah. Because you have so many ideas, and you're like, oh my god, this is gonna be awesome. Mm -hmm. It just consumes you, and then you just kind of you kind of put everything else on a back burner. But on right. the other side you know, of things, that's just how that's what I struggled with. Yeah. On the other side of the spectrum, for all the single people, what up? Uh -oh. No, but anyway, right? yeah. You better put the phone down. Right now. Right now. No, no, it's like come to camera. Turn off the camera. Exactly. Put the knives away. Dude. Put the rubber caps on. <laughs> no, no, I've, I've, you know, it's very hard for me to get into a relationship just because of what I do. Right. You know, they, you know. So what, what, what do you mean by what you do? Shooting well, portraits, being, posting, yeah, uh, and then yeah, then being yeah, insecure sure. with me posting, you know, different. That's so why you gotta just get with another photographer. There you go. Or with a model. Or that. Uh, no, I've tried. Excuse Not me. much success. Cute. Meet at me. Look at me. Out there. But what I'm saying is, there's there's a lot of people I know who shoot landscapes and would love to. They're like, I've even had people tell me, like, bro, sorry, I can't like your pics. Yeah, like, my yeah, wife yeah, yeah. sees it. I'm right. Like, All right. Yeah, I see you. But that's <laughs> you know. But you know what's hilarious about what you're saying? You know how many people are like, oh, you know, the only reason you get so many likes is because. You're, you're posting these pictures of these like beautiful models and, and lingerie and all this kind of stuff. And it's like, no, you don't realize you actually are probably, you could get more yeah, likes if they have less. more clothes on. Yeah. Yep. You know, cause, cause like somebody like, yeah. you know, who has a, a very conservative uh, family right and there. wife, you can like the photo and not have to worry about them stabbing you, right. you know, while you're sleeping. So. <laughs> no, I'll so, do it while he's awake. Or, oh, no, I know you would. I know you would. She or would. like, no. I know you would. She's spicy. I'm telling you. So I'll tell you. No, I wouldn't. No, I would not. Well, I'm like not a Well, like for you guys, when you uh, wanted to start shooting portraits and shoot with other you people, you know I'm not a stab. Right. Like, you have to have that conversation no. with your your other one. Yeah. And be like, hey, I want to start doing this. Right. That's a tough conversation. I I totally agree. No, yeah, just because I, I was in that situation is. She's like, why don't you just take pictures of me? I'm like, I'd love to. I still will. Yeah. But there's other people. But there's other like people. Different looks, gotta, different styles. Yeah. yeah. So that early on conversation is tough. And then working past that and all the obstacles, and then you have to have, like, be on your phone and have that communication, you know, that small talk, you know, right. build that rapport with people that you want to work. It's just a lot of shit. But that's one good thing about Manny is that he's always been so transparent. We've never had an issue with... Um, one person well, or the other looking at each other's stuff, looking right. at each other's phone, like never. But if ever I want to look at something on his phone, it's not a problem. Everything is there. Yeah, both of us. It's, Everybody. It's, I'm very professional with yeah. all the models I work with. Sure. Well, you guys yeah. see it. Yeah. This is the ideal couple. <laughs> yep, that's right. Well, that's I, think, right. I think you just have to be honest and, and just communicate with your, your significant other. You know, I've been with my wife for... 18 years now, you know, and... 18? Yeah. yeah. Dang, dude, Since, you're uh, only like 19 years old, so... <laughs> you, know, you all got we, together we, out the yeah, womb. Yeah, we got, yeah. We got married right, right, right out the womb. womb. So, so uh, I used to be a, a DJ, yeah. and like, you know... Oh, yeah. Girls... I can't, I can't see that, though. Do, uh, yeah, we just... Photos and You know those Asian oh, guys? Can we change the game? It's like Steve Aoki. Can you change games? Yeah, I think you... Yeah, hit reset. So she, you know, she's supported me through... When I was, you know, DJing, and then I switched to photography, and uh, I think it's just having that mutual respect and really, right. just like you said, understanding each other's time, respecting each other's time. But at the same time, she she knows that 
she's going to support you no matter what you do, even if you make dumb decisions. Right. But she's your support system, you know? And I think every successful person, there's, there's even a stronger person behind that Absolutely. successful person. Absolutely. You know, she's like kind of like my backbone. She knows I'm here, and, and but she's like, hey, go ahead. I know you're out there. You're networking. You're, you're making connections. Right. And that's what really matters is, is having somebody there that's going to actually push you and support you at the same time. Yeah, yep. hold down the fort. Yep. Yeah, that's hold right. down, watch the kids, take yep. the kids to practice, go to work, stuff mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. So no, that's that's one hundred percent correct. I agree. It's not it's not easy. No, it's especially when you have kids. Yeah, actually, um, Manny he started doing a little bit of traveling, and um, one thing that he wasn't good at at first is kind of communicating because he's so busy and he's just right, so right. overloaded. And was it was just like I would want to. I would want to talk to him yeah. on the phone, and after two minutes, he'd have to hang up, and I get so frustrated with him, and he's just like, you know, friends. why? Like, why yeah. are you so yeah. frustrated? Like, I'm working, and I'm like, I know, but I miss you. Like, just give me more than five minutes, you know right, what I right. mean? When when they're so far away, and you're at home holding down the floor, it's not as easy. Yeah. It's not as easy. You know, you miss them. Okay. No, it's, it's a yeah. challenge. I, I mean, I, I totally I get it, and, you know, there's times, like, you'll be gone for a week, and maybe you only talk for, like, maybe total like 20 minutes throughout the entire mm-hmm. week yeah. and it gets hard because it's like you know they start to feel like well you know you you uh you forgot about me yeah and it's not a, it's not that you no. forgot it's just like you're so busy trying to like make things happen that i don't know you just you just have a hard time keeping up yeah. you know so it's it's challenging but uh um i don't know you know it's good to have a spouse that supports you and, but at the same time, if you don't have somebody that supports you, you better work even harder to win that support. Yeah. You know, and you got to be respectful along the way, you know, to make sure they understand that, like, here's, be transparent, you know, just like Manny said, like, you got to be transparent throughout the entire process. Mm-hmm. Like, here's what I'm doing. Here's where I'm trying to go with this. And I mean, that's kind of like towards my side of things. When I started dating this girl, that's how I even got into photography. She really? would shoot. And then my Instagram was just like a bunch of dumb stuff, selfies, drum videos, just yeah. like random bro stuff. Yeah. Um, <laughs> bro stuff. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> just like, yeah, stupid <laughs> stuff. But uh, yeah, then I met this girl and we started dating and she, you know, went to school for photography, all this stuff. She was right. good. Um, so then like I'd be, I moved to a new city, um, wanted to kind of impress her. So then I would start taking pictures on my phone, like right. downtown Pittsburgh. Um, and then like I'd, I'd show her, send it to her, or she'd be with me. And it's something that we could do um, together. So like it right. built that bond, but it's a very like special thing. Cause then when I wanted to kind of like try something new, yeah, it's like oh, but this is something we used to do. Yeah, and yeah. And now you wanna? It's it almost a very, felt like you left them behind almost. Yeah. You know. It's like yeah, cause you guys are all like up here, married level families, and right. I'm like, yeah, you know, like, trying to yeah. make my way up the ladder. Well, but hold on. So, so how old are you? I'm thirty. Thirty. Okay. Yeah. You got time though. You know, oh yeah, I'm not worried about it. I'm still okay. young. I, I'm, I'm, but, am I the oldest one here? How old are you? Uh, old enough. Old yeah, enough. You're not about to ask I'm me. Not that. Reveal, I'm not revealing my age. You don't have to reveal your age. But it's got to be between the two of us. Are you more than thirty-five? He's twenty-three. Yeah, 30, I got more than thirty-five. Key. Are you? Oh, you I'm under than, forty. That's all I'm saying. You're under forty. Older than thirty-five, under than under forty. Dude, all right, so we might be about. Him. We you might be about. Him. We might be about the same age then. But you look way older. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know about that. <laughs> Not as old as your mother. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I always have to hit him with the mama joke. That's all I got. That's, that's all she I got. Said. All right, yeah, that's all I got. You have to email. Oh that man! Oh, yeah, so now we'll, we'll we'll get our. So now I got some practice games in, so I think I'm game. ready. Oh, he's ready. No. He's sure ready one. now. Now it's for real. No. Shark okay. Shark Let me see. Let me see if I can so lock right you down completely Let's with. Uh, so what do you guys think about the future of photography? Future. You know, I was gonna do a video about this a while a while ago. Um, Seven thirty. You know, I I think honestly, like the future of photography is gonna end up being uh, like virtual reality. You know, like yeah. it's going to be something where, uh, you know, it's all about like being completely immersed in the in the images. Like you'll be able to do like 360, but it's going to be with like a headset or something. Yeah, I think they'll eventually tap into something where you'll be connected like to, like through your brain 
just like blinking you taking a picture and that and that'll be probably soon enough that's gonna be scary as well the contact right. lens uh, there's so much imagination when it comes to the future I, I do, you, do you think my, my question is, is photography the industry growing or is it shrinking no <laughs> I mean I think it's growing no it's growing it's, it's, yeah I think that's it, right the market is becoming so saturated and the technology is becoming easier and easier yep. that it's allowing everybody to be a photographer. So, you know, it's going to be what's going to separate you from the rest of, of the people. And what what it has to become is you can't offer normal Yo, you got your power level up higher than mine. Oh, is that what it is? Yes, that's what oh. it is. I'm hitting this guy like 50 times and he's hitting me three times and I'm almost dead. <laughs> but it ain't going to matter because I'm going to win anyway. Oh. That's how we're going to do this. I just think technology over the next like Good. 30 or 50 years is going to be like, we probably can't even think about, you know, anything that's even going to come out. Like anything you can think of is going to come out eventually, right? I think that, uh, no, I agree. I think that um, it'll probably be within like the next like three or four years, I think, too. Yeah. I think a lot of this <laughs> stuff is going to hit like sooner rather than later where we're going to see like this so-called future that we're talking about is going to be like... Like now. Oh, because you when know? you think about it, look, look how far technology has gone. It's, it's to the point where you're only getting like small little incremental in, right. uh, uh, advancements because they can't go, you know. There's only so much farther they can go. Yeah, these cameras are so damn good already, you know. it's. Well, the thing is, too, that it's like, it's kind of funny because the cameras get really good, but um, I don't know. It's like people people rely on the technology a little bit too much, oh. you know. Yeah. So it, it has all these features, but uh, it, this guy just cheated. He had like oh, 10 stars. Oh, he's losing. He's I losing bet you now. He had like 10 stars. I have four stars. He's losing he's now. Now, he, now yeah. no, that's cheating. He's cheating he, right now. But, but what's going to become, it's going to be, what can Miguel offer that Manny can't? Right. And, and, and at the same time, it's, it, it's sales too, right? Because uh, I agree. How, how do you sell yourself that's different from somebody else? If Correct. you're shooting portraits, you're shooting portraits, and your work is similar, you know, but I like you better. It's about right. selling yourself, right? But just, it's all about just, you. But just in any sales that you ever do, most people buy into the person. The product is the product. It's right. there. But do I like working with Miguel better than I like working with Manny or right. vice versa? It, it, and that's what a lot of people don't realize. It's, okay, it's They're so worried about the follow count that they think they're going to get more work with followers. I know people with 300K that can't yep. get consistent work. And then there's people that have 40K that are just crushing it yeah. and making six figures a year. Well, because it's not they don't correlate with one another. You know what I mean? Like I, like, I have respect for people like you guys that have built a massive following on Instagram. Like, I have a lot of respect for that because it's not easy, right? But at the same time, you can't correlate necessarily like, okay, for example, you have 100,000 followers, you have like, what, 600,000? I don't even know. How many are you up to? Yeah, <laughs> you know, like almost half a million. Yeah. I have no well, idea. Almost a million. Almost, almost, a, million. All my almost a million, right? Yeah. So you can't say, well, you're at a million, so you must make 10 times more than he does at 100,000. Oh, yeah, like, no, it doesn't no. correlate. No, it doesn't. You know, yeah, you there's no have a business, business tie. side to that. But the thing right. is, even with all these followers, essentially, you have the least amount of followers, but you right. are the professional photographer right. that's getting traveling everywhere and shooting for larger companies. Sure. See, so there's no correlation between that. Now, in some cases, there are direct correlation, but yeah. majority of the time, is there? I don't know. Yeah. I don't think there is. I mean, it, it can be. That's the thing. Like, it, there can be a correlation, yeah. but, um, you know, it, it, it doesn't necessarily mm -hmm. have to be that way. You know what I mean? Like, it, it could be that uh, you have, like, a pretty big uh, following and you make a ton of money, you know, but most of the time... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> With that stand up. Oh, you got that out. Oh, 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 oh. you ain't getting out of there now. I'm oh. not, like, I know it's near the shark reef, but it's, I don't, is it shark reef entrance? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, with just this being said, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this talk. Uh, we were just kind of like sitting here cutting up. Um, I'm going to do some more of these. I'm going to have some different guests on this show while I'm here at uh, WPPI. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the content. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Make sure you give everybody a follow too, because uh, they're all producing like just killer work. Um, Q, where can they uh, find your stuff? Uh, you can find me on at around Q on Instagram. And make sure, make sure you follow Sony. No, I roundhouse kicked them. Make sure you follow Sony Images and Sony Portraits as well. Yes. 
Oh, you can find me on Instagram at kingy underscore kings. Not at the club. No, nope. you, you can find me in the club. <laughs> bottle full of bug. <laughs> all the Grammy portraits you got. Give me all oh, of them. Or you can also check out the communities, like he said, uh, at Sony Images, at Sony Portraits. Yeah. And then Game of Tones, Portrait Games, Kingy Kings. Oh. Ooh, that was Thanks nasty. for having me, by the way. This is awesome. Hey, happy to have done one of these, so that's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Oh, oh, no! Get out! Get out! This guy got so lucky. Get out! I told you! He got so lucky. It's the warm-up. We're just so, warming so up. He's got so lucky. He's just, he, it's the warm-up. He got thrown. He just, he, it's the warm-up. He got thrown. What Two back-to-back -back losses. No, full crap. Full crap. It's a wrap. It's That's a wrap. That's a three. We're going to be here all day That's now. That's a three. <laughs> I'll do a rematch. Same one. <laughs> Was there something wrong with the? No, there was nothing wrong with oh, this. Wrong with the I can't song. talk at the same time and, oh, listen me, I and play this game. This Dude, but I'm, that's what it is. I'm chewing gum and talking. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Now I'm gonna get you perfect. I'm gonna get the only perfect of the day. We gotta go though. Yeah. Yeah. So Manny, Manny where can they where can they find your work? Manny Ortiz. You can find me on YouTube. Manny Ortiz. <laughs> Instagram Manny Ortiz photo. photo. And that's pretty much it right there. Ooh. Nice. Oh my gosh. This guy. Oh, oh you so nasty. You can find me uh, at Miguel Quiles Jr. Oh, this oh, guy. Yeah. <laughs> See, I that's can't beautiful. talk. And no, not yet, not yet. Not I can't yet. talk and play at the same time. <laughs> at Miguel Quiles Jr., um, the breakdown on Adorama TV, <laughs> and Miguel Quiles Jr. on YouTube. So thanks for watching. I'm going to have some guests again uh, here pretty soon after I finish Whooping Q. Uh, I will see you in the next one. Peace! Oh, this guy. Peace!